So this is the Mark of the Dead. Its primary role is Let demonstrating. Hank's telling you about how great it is to die. Don't interrupt me. I can do whatever I want, Hank. So this is the Mark of the Dead. Um, so this is going to mark you as dead and that you're going to be welcomed into the afterlife with open arms. Cool. That's the primary role. The secondary role is it's incredibly toxic. Here we are at this amazing event. I'm with my friend Jade. Jade, and she's gonna tell me a little bit about the event. Right now? Yeah, right. Now. Okay. Um, so this is Element. It's a uh, immersive edible experience. The planet has died, and the Botany Council is here to save us. Um, so it's a tasting experience and a dance party. Cool. What what type of tastings are there? Oh, uh, there's. A whole menu of contaminated wonders. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Thank you very much for the invite. I'm excited to check it out. Yeah, have fun. Cheers. These are ocelot eggs. They're the eggs of that creature, right? Yeah. yeah. They're very really, nutritious. If I'm hungry later, I will come back. Would you want some ocelot eggs? I would love an ocelot Go egg. Go for it. Take that one right there. An ocelot, an excellent. Excellent. An excellent. Yeah, excellent is the cat. Is there anything oh. I need to know before I indulge I in the eggs? No, no. Go no, for it. No, they're not psychedelic eggs. You'll definitely make the vlog today. Oh, am I on film? Virtual reality. <laughs> so do a cheers. And cheers. cheers. To, the, to the eggs of that creature. To a kind and strange creature. here in these, these ah. containers. So, at the crab, we gather specimens that are still somewhat alive on the earth, and we gather them and take away certain microbes to recreate the sense of the Also, you may notice that time seems to be moving a little quicker. What feels like mere moments for the dead and dying is actually generations passing. Hundreds of years are just blurring by right now. It's pretty remarkable, actually. And over these generations, your descendants who we've reached out to on your behalf. I am your descendants from many years into the future. I miss you so much. They have such a deep appreciation, we found, that they love to leave offerings, little burned offerings and, and other tokens of gratitude. And this will sustain you in the afterlife once you've left this little plot of land. And uh, it's worth mentioning here that uh, an exclusive benefit of dying at the deincarnation station is you have clean dirt to eat. This is a common sustenance for the dead. Oh, and, uh, tell them all about the dirt, Hank, since you know so much about it and you can make it all by yourself. Isn't that right? 
you don't rely on me to do anything around and, uh, here. And, and the dirt here, the that, graves. and the dirt that, that Tuki's done a, a passable job of, of preparing for you, you know, if you kind of squint, it, it looks like reasonable dirt. That's perfectly safe to eat. There's nothing radioactive there. There's no kind of fungal infections or anything. I mean, you're dead anyway. It's really just a luxury that's, that we like to offer. So um, I'll, I'll just check in right now. The, the things should have taken effect, that mark. So is there anybody in there? 